Hi, it's Elder. In this video, I want to share my first impressions and camera test of the iPhone 13 Pro. And there are three things I'm curious about. The color, which wasn't very impressive in all other videos I watched online, but it was pretty cool on the Apple's website. Then, of course, this will be the first time I ever see the OLED higher pressure rate display, ProMotion display. And of course, the camera, the cinematic mode, this is something I'm very curious about. Wasn't very impressive in other demo videos, but we will see how good it is. So let's quickly unbox this thing. Nothing special here. The experience, unboxing experience is exactly the same as last year. Obviously, there is no plastic this time, but yeah, most of all, the things you have in box are exactly the same. Just the USB-C to lightning cable and some documentation, this white Apple sticker. So nothing very interesting there. Of course, on the box this time we have the cameras instead of the display we had last time. This is the last year's box and as you can see that this time around Apple is focusing on the cameras. Anyway, let's take a look at the phone and well, color is a little bit pale, but I guess I guess it's not that bad. You can see it here. Obviously, the cameras are very, very big. And this is the phone of my wife. This is iPhone 12 Pro. This is how they compare the camera bumps. You can see that there is a huge, huge difference. And other than that, the phone is a little bit thicker and heavier. And I guess I can feel it when, like, holding two of this iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro Max. I guess because I'm coming from the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which I have here, which is much bigger and heavier device, for me, this feels very, very comfortable. So let's turn it on. And the first thing, of course, we will see is the promotion display. I'm very curious how it will Compared to the iPod, iPad Pro I have here, which I have been using for many, many years now. Okay, yeah, it is noticeable right away. So when it comes to design, design is pretty much similar to what we had before, apart from the notch, which is a little bit smaller now. I mean, it is taller but a little bit narrower so i guess we can say that it is well according to apple it is 20 percent smaller the lenses are obviously bigger and this will translate probably in a little bit better photos we will see in a second how good it is but yeah i'm using my iphone for all of my videos i mean this video right now is obviously filmed on my camera and I'm only doing that because in a second I want to go out and test this outside as well as inside maybe in some low light situation and I want to compare it my first impressions compared to this camera so you can see this is the natural blur we have you can see it's blurry Right away, let's start this the cinematic mode, and this is the front-facing camera. And although I can see that it is not perfect, honestly, it's better than I imagined. Okay, so this is the white camera and of course I'm using the built-in microphones right now so interesting to see how the sound is because usually I use the third-party uh, Shure MV88 microphone I don't know how this sounds we will compare it later of course in the other videos but for now this is the cinematic mode using the white camera
and of course this is the regular white camera and well i guess this should be the best possible quality from this phone the biggest lens the biggest largest pixels and everything so let's see how this looks so this is the ultra wide camera i haven't really used it before because i never thought it was very good quality but now it is much much better so supposedly i can use it for even shots like this Okay, so I'm home and this is cinematic mode and I have seen all of the Im images and videos we just recorded. Impressive, I should say. The cinematic mode is impressive, but of course I don't know why it, it really doesn't do very well when it comes to ears. Even the hair is not that bad, but I guess there is an easy solution to that. If we just hide our ears, maybe even hide our hair, maybe this will be better. Is it better? On a serious note, I will be doing lots of comparisons, both for video and photo, and we will do some blind test between this uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max and the iPhone 13. And honestly, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it yet. I want to review it, I want to compare it with my iPhone 12 Pro Max. And if the difference is big enough, considering that I'm using my iPhone for everything, for all of the videos, all of the photos, I might even switch to this phone. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about this phone, you can leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. I will talk to you in the next video. Is it really better? Or maybe I can shave myself, huh? Yeah, it will be too much.